No way is the road to the scrapyard closed. Heck no, this here is scrap. Welcome folks, welcome to salvaging in Arizona. Today we are going to be working on the wall of steel. As you can see, not bad at all, not bad at all. Got the good seal, nice aluminum radiator there. Got some big brake drum rotors. Got some steel over there. And today is going to be goodie day, non-ferrous day. Let's see what all we're getting here. Definitely got some buckets of steel. That's going on. Uh, that this cabinet here is up for resale right now. Got to get some clicks on that. Got motors. A little bit of copper. A little bit of good wire. Some really good wire on that one there. Household wire. Regular uh, die caps from all the fans and whatnot. Good amount of little boards here and a little bit of dirty brass. So hey, we get this thing filled up. Let's see what we get. One thing, folks. I'm by bat. I just got over a stomach bug, so if you notice me moving a little slow today, that's why. So let's get going. Folks, there we are, all piled up to the sky as usual. We are going to be heading off to the steel yard. But first, we're stopping off at the non ferrous land for the die cast motors, rotors, copper, all the good stuff, the boards, all the goodies going in today. And along with a good high up pile of steel there, we'll get some ropes on this thing, get this thing tied down. And we'll see what we get. See you down there. Well, all right, folks, here we are at the big green barn building. Let's see what we're getting for the non ferrous today. Well, folks, if you look at the slow moving train there, we're working our way out of the non Ferris, and that was not bad at all, not bad at all. Gonna be heading on to the steel yard, see what we get over there. Let's go. All right, folks, here we are at the place, all metal by scrap, getting here up on the scale. Okay, 80, 8100, something like that, somewhere in between those two. Folks, here we are on the way out. Let's see what we're getting today. Where we're at. Let's get all the way up on the scale there. 7220, 7220. Alright. Well, folks here in Southern Arizona. Those empty pails mean one thing, and that's the cash, man. Let's have a look at that. Let's first let's go into the non-ferrous place. Let's get some of the bangers here. That aluminum radiator alone was worth $580, six bucks. We had $21 bucks worth of copper. We had $17 worth of electric motors, $12 worth of die cast. Uh, Twenty-seven dollars for the uh, that was for the uh, the household wire for the we got thirty-nine pounds of that had some Romex there going in eight bucks and some other we got another good one brass door handle sixteen dollars for total of one two nine six six not bad for the non ferrous now going over to the steel something happened over there when I when I got to the place I I I, I turned in my, my my ticket and everything and when I looked back I saw they showed I had eighty-nine hundred pounds and they're paying me a hundred bucks. And I was like, wait a minute, I know, I, I know 89, 80, I know that that would have been about uh, 17, 1800 pounds roughly. And I know what that feels like, and I know I didn't have that much. So I said, let's, let's, I said, are you sure that was me? So we weren't sure on that. I said, I could review my footage if you want. He said, don't worry about it. He says, we'll, we'll, we'll run you through at about 83, 20. And that was, that was the guesstimate that they gave. So they gave me at 11, 20 at six cents a pound for $67. Not bad for a total of. One hundred ninety-six dollars ninety-one cents. Even got some Susan B. Anthony dollars. When's the last time you all saw some of them? From nineteen seventy-nine and nineteen eighty. Not bad. Well, hey, 
Hope you guys like that one, and let's get back to scrapping. All right, folks, here in Southern Arizona, and welcome to another Saturday scrapping adventure. Today, we are hitting an area very close to my house. In fact, it's right there. And we're gonna be hitting several new neighborhoods as well, I think, uh, some smaller ones going around, and we'll check it out. Let's go get it. We are starting off in the farm properties. I like these ones, really, really do, really do. Oh, oh those are full, aren't they? Gosh, damn. Hair products, yeah, the wires and whatnot. Oh, these cable ties. Hmm. I wouldn't hurt. Bug zapper. Get my clippers. And one more thing, folks. That's fun today. It's about mid-May right now going to be they said between 100 and 103 degrees today so <laughs> that will be a fun one go there all right up there horsey guy got your little fly thing on your face there i get it oh okay. that is Tonneau cover. Part is plastic. Hardware. Okay. Keep it in the box. <laughs> All right. Not bad for the start of the day. I like it. Oh yeah. Bay bay. In you go. All right. Rusty Arizona special here. Oh wait, is this one? Yeah, this is one of them ones, huh? Yeah, they're on there. Okay, I gotta keep that on there. All right. Yeah, I think I've seen some kiddo stuff. Yeah. Trampoline. Oh, it must have an electronic thing on me. I thought someone was talking to me. There's some weird electronic thing. <laughs> Seriously, it was freaking me out. Okay. Well, let's see. That feels like all aluminum. Wow, not bad. Bottom to a boat thingy there. All cast, looks like. Wow. Cool. Uh, a few little things here. Steel in there. He's got the die cast on him, so we'll, we'll get those off. Oh, yeah. Something. Mm. Mm. No way. All plastic. <laughs> well, done got me on that one. Yep, that's a full plastic chair. Oh, well. Turn it. Yeah, yes see what we're looking at here. Oh, okay. Yeah. the inside of a uh, electric motors another one heavy little buggers that is that's not 
Yeah, okay. Interesting. Coming on real quick before we go. Before I left, I saw this little box hiding out there. And it looks like it is full of like metals. <laughs> what? <is it? laughs> and it's gotta be die cast. It's gotta be. Arizona State Finals 20, 2021. Inline Hockey Association. Where wheelhouse Prescott Valley. And this box weighs <laughs> These, each one of those are pretty good size. And a few more of these, so yeah, had a good amount of die cast. Pretty cool, interesting. Never gotten a box full of awards before, but hey, you never know. Let's right, go. Folks, what in the wild, wild world of sports is this? <laughs> it's not a four by four, definitely. There's no rear diff, so, but yeah, look at that. Jacked up Prius, interesting. Yeah, don't see those very often. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Hear that? That's coming. There, there's a little uh, noise maker in that little bag there. And whenever I move anything, it goes off. It's freaking me out. <laughs> they put a target on it. <laughs> Although this one is not shot up like the ones we see out in the desert. <laughs> those ones get really shot up. <laughs> There. Oh. Okay, a little bit more. All right. Let's see, we got a few things here. Oh, oh, one of these little thingies here. Oh, a little cheapy little blower thingy there. Yeah, go up and over. Hey. I got a freezer over here that still works. Where, where at? My chest freezer. Oh, um. See it right here, straight through. Oh, I see, I see, I see. It still works. Okay, you want to give it? You want to give it away? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I I'll... just haven't got it out to the curb yet. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll I'll help you bring it out. It's got some miles on it, but I it just, still it still works thing. perfectly fine. Huh. Wow. Okay. Well, hey. It's heavier than it's, it, it's they're really not the heavy. You just want to grab them out. They're, they're really not. All fridges are is a styrofoam box with a motor on the bottom. Got up there. All right, there you go. We'll just do it like that. Well, you want to get tip it up here? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll spin it over. Yeah. And there she goes. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it very much. Let's go back to where we were. Board. All right. Transformer. Another transformer. Another transformer. All right. Hey. All right, folks here in South Arizona, here we are out on a Friday today. Normally we would be hitting the second city today, but they have, unfortunately, canceled it. So, we're gonna be hitting dumpsters today. Different apartment complexes, different cities. Hopefully we'll get some, we'll see. Let's go get it. All righty, let's see. Some wood stuff, oh, there we go. Oh boy, got some, huh. Okay, yeah, one, one of them old ones. Oh, heavy ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we gotta see. June 2008, of course. <laughs> Boy, they were heavy back then. It's metal. Got this little plastic one here. Are there any wires we should be? We'll grab a few, why not? Little cornucopia of the wires here. That, that, that. And that.
We'll figure that out when we get back. I said there's always the trick, and the trick is finding the trick to open it. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, hey, look at that. Move this to the side for a sec. Okay. Put a bungee on that. All right, let's get this roped up. We'll move on. Not bad little metal there. And by the way, folks, we have moved on into the second city. The first few ones were in my city. These ones have moved. Weird thing. Hey, how you doing? Steel, not so much, but the other stuff you do. But you just gotta, gotta, just gotta get a lot of steel, and then adds up. I don't. You, you make a pretty good living doing it. I, I do it on a side thing. I actually do it for YouTube too, as, as well. So I, I, I have a YouTube channel where I scrap this. There's all kinds of scrapping channels on YouTube. Okay. And so I, I, I was doing this before, and then I figured, what the hell, film it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, it, 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 yeah, it, it does pay a little extra. So hey, it's not yeah. bad. <laughs> have a good one. Go there. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab that. We, we, we can get the plastic off that easy enough. All right, let's get this thing settled down and we shall move on. Alrighty. Huh. This place is interesting. Yeah, this looks like junk there. Now there is one more thing that I actually knocked on the door for because this is obviously, you know, a city can, but the one that's not is this right here. And like I said, when you see this, you'll see why I knocked on the door, but this is a business and there it's a weekday. And look at all that nice chunky parts. No answer at the door, unfortunately. And since it's there, uh, not without permission, but man, that would be, <laughs> I would, I would just load that up and run straight to the uh, scrapyard on that one. Good Lord. Okay, they're not here today. We'll move on. This has nothing to do with scrapping, but what in the great Sawzall is this? <laughs> uh, we don't need to take it to no shop. We just got a Sawzall. Zoom, zoom. Oh, that's cool. I like it. <laughs> that's classic. Filled it with spray foam even. Again, nothing to do with scrapping, but I had to show you this one. This is cool. <laughs> Love it. All right, folks here in Salvador, Arizona. Let's just, we're going to wrap this up today. Not a whole heck of a lot going on in, in Second City today, even in the dumpsters in the other cities. Not much put out. In fact, most of these have all been cleaned. I must have hit on a bad day. Either way, not bad. We're going to be heading back to the city, doing some more scrapping. But hey, folks. Check this out. I am a new grandpa. Right there, little baby Leo was just born last night to my youngest daughter. Leo, I love you. I'm gonna be seeing you probably tomorrow. But hey, there you go, folks. New grandpa. Let's head to the next city and do some scrapping. Well, 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 look at that. All right. Boom. Get packed up nice and good for me, all right. Mm -hmm. Something to hold on to. It's light. Jeez. There we go. <laughs> and there's the noisemaker again. If you're not a running needle through, walk on the floor. See, you hiding out on me? You got a cord on you? You sure do. Beautiful. 
Well, I see the light guard. Is the light fixture here? There it is. All right. And a little bit of the good wire. Do those for now. Scrapping, but something you don't see here much in Arizona canoes. To my Canadian folks, I think I've informed y'all when I was, right after I graduated high school, I took a seven day canoe trip in the Quetico Provincial Park in a canoe, seven days out there paddling. Pretty good, very interesting, loved it. Size alone, this one's worth looking at. There's a lot of little cases here, but I think they're gonna be empty. Hey, shells. Remember what I told you folks? Nobody wants them, I'm telling you. Oh, these are all wads, wow, for shooting. 12 gauge, 12 gauge wads. Wow. I don't reload, so I don't really have a use for that. Oh, okay. Little, little dilly barber there. Okay. Okay. Need a little acorn unit there. There we go. All right. All right. It's, check this out. Self-serve eggs for sale. How often you see that? Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm Cuckoo for Chickens. Thank you for supporting my eggs. Hope you employ employee of the week. Popcorn, Easter bread. How much are they? Let's see here. Five dollars a dozen. Hmm. Well, let's see. Ooh, new nest collected. 514, 518. Very nice, very nice. So we're gonna do two of these. Get some fresh eggs. Wow, that is not something I have seen. Where, pay here, okay. There we go. Five dollars a dozen. Oh, I like that. Those will be quite delish. Got a little cool in there with my waters. We'll put those in there. All right, let's move on. Alrighty, we'll grab us a little stack of dusty bugs here. Screens. There you go. When all else fails, kick it. All right, be quick, because as you can see, there's a park over there. Looks like they got a bunch going on. So, a little quick. Snip on that. Grab you. Take that. Um. On the camera, we got another stop here. A little steel. A little steel meals. Beautiful. All right, folks, PD store time. Yes, PD store time once again. Hope the echo wasn't too bad for you. I like this place here. It's pretty cool. We're going to do two topics today. One of them, yeah, first one is, have I ever been punched as a cop? Yes, I have been. Now, I, I talk about fighting people a lot and all that. And like I said, 98, 97% of the, of the altercations you get into are merely people trying to get away and using force to get away, you know, just doing everything they can in, in physically to get away. The straight, you know, Boxing doesn't happen, at least where I worked, it didn't happen all that much, but it did happen once. We had a guy and he, he had a, it showed that he had a, a warrant. This was a long time ago before we, we could pull up photos in the car, all that stuff. So it said, you know, scar here, t this tattoo, this scar here, and he, everything was matching up, okay? And so I cuffed him up, or I went to go cuff him up to verify the warrant, and he spun around on me and clipped me right in the chin out of the blue, just, just boom. And I'm like, all right. And so I pushed him away, drew, drew out my taser, tased him. And then the other officer and I got on him as he was riding the lightning and then got him cuffed up. And later he said, he didn't like that lightning very much. He was, he was not a fan of the lightning. Here, here's the best part. 
this was so old we had to have INS, which is what it was called at the time, send us, fax us a photo of this guy. That's how rudimentary that was. It turned out it wasn't him. This dude matched everything on the warrant, but he got, I think, two years for assaulting me when if he would have just waited and realized it wasn't him, he never would have got that. So, okay. Next one, guns. There are carry guns. Qualifying and all that good stuff. All the fun with carrying a gun. I was first issued, my first gun was a Glock 2240 caliber, uh, gen, Generation 2. And that was the first one given to me in 1997. I carried that for 20 full years. To the very day I did it, and then I retired that gun at 20 years and carried a, a Glock 17C, uh, which is a 9mm with a compensated barrel. So it's, uh, some of the gas has come off the top of the port, it doesn't kick so back as much. It, the, but my, my Gen 2 was bare bones, so no, no rails, no finger grips, no lights, no nothing. In the, you, you first issued your gun in the academy, and you're all in the classroom, you get there, your gun. <laughs> How many classrooms you walk into when there's a gun on, on your desk? That's what, that's what you walk into on, fire, on your first firearms day. It's pretty interesting. And they, they, they talk to you about the gun, they show you the parts, they show you how to take it apart. Now, we're, we're almost all of us were issued Glocks, and a Glock, in order, one of the functions to disassemble it, to clean it, is you have to pull the trigger. It's just part of the thing. And I, I'll still remember, it's so funny, the guy made a, because he said, okay, everybody, put your guns up there. And we, we did all the unloading, make sure, visually and physically inspecting the chamber, all that good stuff. And then as we, as we pulled our guns up to the thing, he, he's like, okay, all right, go, pull, pull. And he's making this big joke out of it. And I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> And then all the guns clicked, no, no, no bangs, of course. And then we took them apart and cleaned them. You, uh, they even had to shoot shotguns. They had to shoot these little 18, uh, 18 inch barrels with three inch mags. You want to talk about a kick of the kick, kick of the yeah, kick of a mule right in the shoulder. But we weren't, we, we had shotguns at the time, but uh, they were only issued off the sergeants. And then we went on to the ARs. Um, you had to qualify once a year, well, actually a few times a year with your gun. Um, you had your, your regular qualification, and you had to score. Uh, 250 is tops, 2, 210 is the lowest. So you had to score between 210 and 250. We, we had an indoor range, and then we had an outdoor range we would go to in Phoenix, and that's where we would shoot off our duty ammo. To, to be, we, we, we would recycle off duty ammo every year. And then we would have one low light shooting that was done at the uh, range. All, all of our guns had night sights, the, the little Trijicon things, and they're pretty expensive, but they worked very well. In fact, mine, my night sights on my Gen 2 were just starting to go dull at about 17 years. So that's how long those, those things will stay there. They, they, they do some really cool training. They, uh, they, they brought a car out to the range. Uh, they, there's a big roll of doors and actually brought one of our police SUVs out to the range to train us to shoot from the car. And I do have a video of that. We'll put that in somewhere around here. Camera on, ready? And also, I think I have another video of me just uh, qualifying at the range as well, which I think I'll put in here as well. Fire. But um, we'll, end, we'll, we'll end it with this. There's something called accidental discharges in AD, or some say in an ND, negligent discharge. Because if your gun is going off, you've done something wrong, okay? Uh, this isn't, you know, 18, what, 1881, if you drop your six shooter, it goes off. It, 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 that, that's not what happened. Have guns gone off when they've been dropped? Yes. Does it happen very often? No. Very few times. In fact, I'm I don't think I ever had one in my career where it went off. Somebody's finger was on the trigger. When, when, they always said it went off, but when it came right down to it, they, they were in the, uh, they had their finger on the trigger. Couple, couple quick uh, things about those. Um, there, there was a hole about that deep in the floor of our range where one of our uh, uh, sergeants at the time did an AD, ND of his AR-15 right into the ground. And that put a little divot about yay deep, like I said. And when, last one here, this is funny, it was five in the morning and I was getting, um, getting ready and I hear boom. Okay, that's not great. So I go out and we look and, you know, one thing that cops do a lot is we'll do 
practice draws, okay? Just to, just to practice and get, get used to the, the movement. What the officer was doing was he was doing practice draws in the hallway and behind it was our old jail. There was, there was nobody in there. But basically he was just pointing, he was pulling his gun out, pointing it at the door. And on one of them, he pulled it out, boom! Shot the door, <laughs> and I got. If I can find that picture, I'll put it in because uh, I, I I took a picture of it. I had to, but hope you guys like that one. And let's get back. Little footsie massagers. Chunky metal there. Oh, got some steel there too. All right. Oh, look at that. Mo motor's already almost right there. Look at that. Shoot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll just take the motor. Now can have all the gunk. Alright. We'll take the easy up. Sure. Alrighty, looks like we got some garage sale rejects here. Okay. Gonna do a little ironing. And we'll cut off what we see here. Just grab. I'm not really much into grabbing Christmas trees. Weird that you're seeing this in May. But hey. Keep on grabbing until it goes. Plan on stripping it, but hey, Christmas tree lights. Boingo, boingo, dead man's party. I like that one. Obscure band, but boy, I like them. Still got their CDs, all that stuff. Oh, that is... That is, that's aluminum. Some garage springies here. Go oh, there. Go oh, there. All right. We done found the kitchen sink. Hey. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Of course. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Bend it down. There you go. Saw a few things here. Okay. That'll work. Oh. Aluminum ladder. There we go. And hey, there you go. Just a couple chairs here. Oh, looks like a little electronic thing there too. Let's see how that. What are you? Something. Dusty. <laughs> All right. It's a dusty, that's what it is. All right. Breakfast time. Hey, we're gonna do a wrap up. Check this out though. All these, these eggs that we got. These, these are pretty cool. I like this. I've never gotten fresh farm eggs like this before. Definitely. And I'm really curious how they taste. I'm sure they're gonna taste amazing. But let's do a run rundown of what we got here. Definitely not a bad day today at all. We got that uh, freezer there that they say works, which is a magic chef. So I'm hoping it does. They have a good name, brand name and a lot of steel, a lot of really good steel, folks. We're hitting 1,800 subscribers. I mean, this is getting really <laughs> crazy. Thank you again, folks. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'll see you all next week. Bye.